Thank you very much, Richard. And thank you all for presenting, and thank you all the judges. We'll let you do your work. And we'll continue with the program. Saifan just spoke about the importance of having a joint venture partner. And actually, the first uh, case study that I give in class is about joint venture partnerships. And these are very important vehicles for the success of Israeli companies, which are so far from their markets. And this is why the Bird Foundation is such an important player in the Israeli market. And the moderator of the coming panel is the current executive director of the Bird Foundation. And this is Dr. Eitan Yudelevich. The U.S. Um, Israel Binational R&D Foundation, um, as I mentioned, the Bird Foundation. Uh, before coming to manage the Bird Foundation, Eitan uh, was uh, well. He's been in position for five years. Before that, he was uh, at Rafael, general manager of the missile division, and then vice president for marketing and business development. So he knows both the technology and the markets. Uh, Dr. Yudelevich uh, earned his PhD in computers and system engineering at the Rensselaer, right? Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, Troy, New York. Um, Eitan will call the other panelists. Uh, thank you, Eitan. Avi, Avi, Chesi, Aaron, please. Okay, thanks very much for having me here with uh, our panelists. Uh, we were going to discuss uh, partnering, which is a very important aspect of uh, everything we've been uh, talking about today. As you hear and you see all the time, we're talking about partnering, partnering between Tiswig and Mafat, uh, a great example. But uh, our um, panel will focus on partnering between companies. Our panelists, uh, we have uh, three panelists. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Avi Blasberger. He's the CEO of Elsec, uh, a company that actually belongs to Elbit Systems. Uh, and Avi uh, has been with the Elbit Elop uh, since 1982. And uh, he's uh, an experienced person in uh, the subject we're talking about. Then we, ha we have Hezi, Hezi Grisim. Uh, Grisim. Uh, he's VP Special Programs uh, at IAI and Hezi has, uh, was in ELTA, and he has also a long-term uh, experience in uh, partnership. Uh, finally, not uh, less important, of course, is Aaron Aaron. Uh, Aaron is a savvy entrepreneur. Aaron uh, is a, a founder of Camero with other uh, uh, two, pa two partners. Aaron was uh, several years ago at Zoran, and uh, he has a long career, a uh, successful career, in uh, entrepreneurship, including partnership. So let me start by asking some questions. And uh, then uh, the way we have structured the panel is that each panelist will give you a short presentation, uh, either with slides or without slides. And then uh, uh, we have some questions. I have some questions, but I certainly want to encourage you to participate in uh, the discussion. So the, the issues we have here is the importance of partners to achieve results. Uh, today, I think it's almost uh, necessary to discuss this. Everyone understands that without partnering, uh, it's very hard to get to the market, specifically if we're talking about a small company. But interestingly enough, I come from uh, my pre previous career was at uh, Rafael, a relatively large company. And I can tell you that uh, I would say that the belief that without partnering, internationally I mean, it's impossible to achieve results 
is almost, I would say, in the blood of everyone uh, in Rafael today, and I think it's the same with almost every uh, Israeli company that I know. The other point is the customer partner dynamics. What do I mean by that? Specifically in the defense sector and the homeland security sector, there is a very interesting dynamics between um, what you do with your potential customer and what happens with your potential with your with your potential partners. If, uh, and this is a problem of uh, chicken and egg because sometimes to get to the customer you need the partner, but sometimes this partner will not listen to you if you don't have a customer. So. It's a dilemma or it's a problem, an issue that I think maybe our panelists will be able to address. There's a big dilemma relating to the life cycle or the timing of the partnership. You know, you sometimes want to get very fast to a, to a, to a, to a partner and start discussing with him or with the company, but then you're worried about uh, the level of exposure, uh, your IP. Um, also, if you are very early in the process, uh, your partner may require large amounts of work sharing. So the timing here is a big issue. Um, there's also the issue of uh, geographical focus. I think uh, uh, Yoni Shimshoni here gave a great example of the problem of uh, deciding where to focus. Um, naturally, they focused on America initially, and they got to a conclusion. It took uh, several years to get to a conclusion that it's probably better to focus uh, some other place. It's a very critical decision, and uh, I think it's another issue that we may want to refer to. And this HLS, Homeless Security, a special case from the point of view of partnering. I think uh, the answer is uh, probably yes, but uh, maybe our uh, uh, panelists will be able to address to, uh, that issue. So that, those are the main issues that I thought it would be important to uh, discuss. So let me give you in two minutes what we do. Um, uh, we do actually U.S.-Israeli cooperation. We do exactly what we're talking about here, partnering between companies, except that uh, we cannot uh, fund the, uh, military projects. Uh, we, ca we, do, we do fund homeland security projects. So we are kind of complementary to what uh, uh, Jakob Nagel was talking about. Um, we certainly are uh, very open to homeland security, and this is because the Board of Governors of the Bell Foundation uh, decided that that's uh, what we need to do after 9-11. We, uh, we have funding, stable funding, and we are all, always looking for more funding. That's what we're doing now, but we have stable funding. Um, the way it works, two companies get together, and we're able to provide funding for a project that brings to a, a, a product. So we are looking for commercialization. This is not uh, seed money. And uh, the project has to be a joint project between a U.S. company and an Israeli company, and we're able to provide up to a million dollars per project, but not more than 50% of the whole project. And if the project is, uh, uh, let's, well, most projects, uh, when they come to us, will not be unsuccessful, of course. I can tell you that 100% of the projects that come to us are supposed to be successful. But unfortunately, it happens that projects don't succeed commercially. So uh, this is what we do. We, we, we share the risk with the companies, and if the project is not successful, uh, the, it becomes a grant. That's what we call that a conditional grant. Um, we, the, we have a very friendly process. Uh, people ask me already, and we uh, please approach us. Uh, Limor here is with me. She's, uh, she, we are uh, open to discussions, and we uh, follow the companies very closely and uh, brainstorm with them to make sure that the, that the partnership is appropriate and that the project has a, a good chance to succeed in the process, which is competitive, which is competitive. Uh, finally, we, before we go to the panel, I found uh, interesting, although this is not a Homeland Security project, but maybe some of you uh, saw this announcement on October 4, a couple of days ago, that Negro Hill Education just acquired a company called Tegrity, which provides um, a, a, a capability to capture a le a, a class lectures. Uh, it's it's a, actually a very sophisticated software, and this partnership, we're very proud uh, that this partnership is actually a bear project, 
and uh, we, we feel that uh, this is one of our goals, okay? Of course, we would like to see companies growing in Israel, and that's one of the uh, purposes. But uh, in many cases, in many cases, we see this result, that the U.S. company actually acquires uh, the Israeli company, and in many cases, uh, the Israeli company becomes the R&D center of the U.S. company. So that's my introduction before we proceed to the panel. Thanks very much. Okay. Uh, Abby?